What's up guys? Steve Mansker with Total Access Reviews here. Today we've got the Queedy X-Max 3D printer by Queedy Technologies. This is the largest 3D printer that they make. It weighs just over 60 pounds, so it is quite large. The MSRP on this unit is $14.99. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this, see what it comes with, and how it operates. Okay, inside the box we've got a number of different things here on the top. Uh, we've got our manual with magnetic build plate. We've got an ethernet cord. We've got our high temperature extruder. We've got our filament holders. We've got some red filament here. We've got a power cord and we've got a nice little toolbox here. And beneath that we've got our printer, so we're going to go ahead and get this pulled out and set up on our shelf. So here's our printer out of the box. Uh, like I said before, it is just over 60 pounds, so it is recommended that you use two people to remove it. Uh, so per the instructions, we're going to go ahead and start by removing the plastic here in the front. We've got some zip ties on both sides that we'll need to remove. And we've got some styrofoam in here that we'll need to take out as well. And we've also got some clips in here that we will need to remove as well. Some cover. So we got all of our clips and zip ties out and most of our styrofoam. We've got one last piece of styrofoam here at the very bottom. What we're going to do is we've plugged the unit in, we'll press the power button here. And once the screen loads up, we'll press the tools button. And we'll go to manual. And then we'll raise the build platform up so we can remove that. You may have to do it several times. And then in the piece of styrofoam in here, you've got a jump drive and a glue stick. Now that we've gotten all the packing material out of our printer, we're going to go ahead and level the build plate. To do this, press the tools button, click on leveling, and then first leveling is recommended. Okay, now we're going to slide this card between the nozzle and the build plate. There should just be a little bit of pressure. I'm not feeling any, so we're going to go ahead and move the build plate up just slightly. starting to feel a little bit of pressure. Okay, I 
to feel a little bit of resistance there, so we're going to leave that as is. And we're going to go ahead and press the confirm button. Next, we will be installing our filament. But to start, we'll go ahead and pull the rods up in the back. You'll hear them click when they're in position. And you can open up the clasp. Filament roll will sit right inside the rods. And filament guide right here. We'll go in the back. And there's a slot right in the middle. Filament can be fed right through there. And there's a plastic part on the extruder here. You'll want to push down, and the filament can be fed right into the extruder. Loading the filament, we're going to press Tools, click Filament, and click the number here. Now it shows the temperature is rising. Once the temperature reaches 220 degrees, we can go ahead and click this button here. So we'll let that go for just a moment. We're at 220. Press the down button. And we can actually see that there is some filament coming out. And to get it going, we can push the filament through the extruder at the top. Looks like it's all set. Now that the printer is set up, we're ready to install the software on our computer. There are two ways of doing this. You can go directly to Kuwaiti Technology homepage, select software, and you can choose to download for Windows or a Mac and simply follow the instructions. Second option is to open a jump drive that's included and all the files in the manual are in here as well as the slicer software. So we've already installed on our computer so we're going to open up the software. We have a file saved to our desktop that we will be testing out. We're going to make the a little bit smaller. And we're going to leave all of our settings stock and see what kind of product we can achieve. Here we can go ahead and click prepare in the bottom right hand corner. After it's been prepared you can click save to removable drive. and we're ready to go. We can eject our thumb drive. Back at the printer, we're going to insert our thumb drive. Select print. Select our file. Click the print button. Now it does show the time. It shows this will take two hours and six minutes. So we're going to let this go and we will check back in here shortly.
So our build is done. Looks like it turned out pretty good. Uh, we've got our flexible build plate here. To remove, we should be able to flex this and it should come right off. So overall, not bad considering we didn't dial the printer in or change any of the uh, stock settings. Looks like we may have a little bit of dialing in to do, but overall, great job. So overall, this unit was relatively easy to set up with no issues. Our test unit came out nice. Uh, a few other things I like about this unit is the five inch color touchscreen, the LED color lighting on it, as well as the large window in the front. Um, in addition, you can print some large prints with this. I believe you can go up to 11.8 by 9.8 by 11.8. So you can get some pretty good sized prints out of this one. I'll go ahead and post a link in the description if you guys would like to take a look at it. And if you have any comments or questions, please be sure to post those down below as well. Thanks for watching today, guys, and have a great day.